Hi friends, uh, welcome to Aditya RPI Academy in Bangalore. In the last video, we sent email address to Gmail application using uh, Blue Prism RPI tool. So now we'll continue further about Gmail application using Blue Prism RPI step by step. So if you like this video, you please subscribe and share to your friends. Yours are Aditya Sheridan. Now I'll go to Blue Prism. So as of now, in the navigate stage is used for open an application. In the right stage is used to send uh, we use like a writer stage to send user ID like mean like an email address to an application and the next one is uh, we need to click on next so now we are going to assign that action to blue prism for that one it requires uh, one addition one navigate stage just drag and drop it here just use a link tool and link writer stage to navigate stage and double click on navigate stage you can see up under application explorer the elements under the expo uh, you know, application explorer there you can say like you know, click on next button just drag and drop it here what action is required so click on center and we can do multi actions in, in, in one navigate stage by using this option okay we'll see this one like a bit later and cl just click on ok and just reset it now it is showing like you know click on errors it is showing some errors about stage name not applicable like a password okay anyway so it should like zero errors errors are zero because it, since we enter like a password data item here it is so you know though here that we'll call them look like at data items the data items will never be linked in this process in this process so we'll see now it should like zero errors just uh, click on run then we'll see So it's giving some error message. We'll see what's error message. Uh, fail to perform step one in right stage, right one page action one. No elements match up. So in separate query address. We'll see. Just double click on here. Just uh, reset it. Just double click on here. The value is an email or phone number. That's fine. And element is email or phone. Okay. Look at open expression chooser just drag and drop it here okay then okay and then reset it so and make sure close your application before you rerun it now it's going you know it's went through uh, just click on like a next stage next, next button what next the next one we need to give a password so to give a password like I mean like a you know, keyboard input you add one more stage called writer stage okay make a room for this uh, s object drag and drop write stage here and double click on here and look at the data explorer is here application explorer is here and drag and drop the password element in the element area and go to the like, password data type and drag and drop. Now we are ma mapping, mapping with the uh, application. Just uh, click on OK and make sure use the link to connect these stages. And you can assign a name for this one. Let us say the navigate. Navigate say like it's an open application. I know this one is like an email the name you can see here the next one is click and the next one is password then click on OK and reset it you will show like no errors zero and we need not consider this one and click on run make sure your application should be open and closed so click on run again it's giving one error message that is um, inputs what it is fail to perform step one in right stage okay click on okay next open this one
then reset it and make sure you please close your application and then reset it and or run it once again this time we'll see now the application is open now it has given email address the supply account password and one action left that is click on next okay for this action we requires one one more navigate navigate stage okay just to make a small room for this one and drag and drop navigate stage here then use a link tool just to connect it and double click on here and look at the explore application explorer is here then drag and drop the element and choose an action click on center so it's done so i will ask let me assign a name for this one click then refresh it then click on run yeah every time it's giving one error message okay let me reset it so open right stage on email just uh, delete it click on ok and then ok then reset it and then run it Again, it's giving some error message. We'll see what's ha what happened. Just close this one. Open right stage. So remove it. We add one. Click on text. Okay, let me okay map it. Like the email value is here, and email or phone is here. Sorry, uh, yeah, that's fine. And click on okay and reset it, and make just run it. saying it's a fail to evaluate the exp so we'll see what's your error right stage email or okay, yeah, no elements match separate to query items just to double click on here <coughs> remove it and we add one just a email or phone element and text is email or phone <coughs> phone number this run it the application is open just close it <coughs> now it's going through now we will log into application and if you want in between the actions you can assign like a wait stages let me show you like how to uh, kind of like a wait stages here so here's a wait stage we can connect it like you know the application will wait for some time for uh, typing purpose or whatever and just uh, link it so reset it to show you one error the, the error is like no, we need to assign any waiting time the default waiting time is like a five seconds you can assign 10 seconds let me check this once again any error you can okay everything is fine let me run it and we can run bit faster also fast normal and slow sorry like application is open yes let me close this one and moreover let me remove this one okay remove an account 
let's remove and then reset it then run it now it's done so we wait for so 10 seconds okay in next video we will see like you know, how to use like wait stages in in this process flow